know the show. I'm in Tooting today. With me, I've got undefeated prospect Louis Adolfi. How are we doing, Lou? I'm fine, thank you. First and foremost, congratulations on a great win on Saturday at York Hall. Looking back at the fight now, how, how do you assess that performance? Um, yeah, I thought I thought um, I put up a, a good performance. Um, like I say, I always thought I can push myself to do better, but um, I was very pleased with the performance against um, a tough pro like Danny Little. Really announced yourself on the scene now, one of Frank Warren's new signings. How have you settled into the paid rank so far? Um, so far, um, 3-0, I think I've settled in pretty well. Um, and um, I'm getting more comfortable, more, re more relaxed in the ring. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. You've come through from Ellsfield, produced a lot of good, solid fighters, Ellsfield Gym of late. You, yourself adding to that list. How much do you think your amateur experience has helped you so far in the paid, the paid ranks? Uh, my amateur experience has helped me bundles because um, I, I still have um, the amateur footwork and the in and out work and I think um, right now that's what's um, keeping me levels above a lot of these pros out there because they just, the free fights I've had, they can't really, they can't really get close enough and settle their feet to land any power shots with me. So um, that, like I said, and that's all down to the amateur experience really. From the GB squad as an amateur as well. Do you think that helped you in any way? Um, it was, well, yeah, to a certain extent, they showed me the odd thing here and there, but it was all down to Elswood. It was all down to Elswood Boxing Club, and I'm not, I'm not willing to give the GB team any credi credibility for making me or, or, or pushing me into any sort of direction because they didn't. It was it was all down to Elswood. And it and that's just like I said, that's me being honest. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm just gonna be real. What do you think of the lightweight scene in the UK? Do you watch boxing in your own time? Are you a big boxing fan? Um I'm a big boxing fan. Well um I wouldn't say I watch all like all of the major fights and that in my own time. Um Nowadays, it's just so easy at the click of a button on the computer, you can watch any fight you want. So I'm more, I'm more the type, I prefer to go into YouTube and I type in the old fights, the Hearnses, the Haglers, even down to Mayweather's older fights, Roy Jones Jr., all of them, and, and I just um, watch boxing at my own leisure. Fortunate enough to work with Jim McDonnell and James DeGaulle in the gym and stuff. How helpful is Jim McDonnell and what, what do you think you've learned with him so far, being in his gym and training with him? Uh, I've learned. I've learned so much with Jim. I've learned, he's taught me how to relax. He's taught me how to set on my feet for power shots. Not only has he taught me physical things, he's taught me um, mental things as well. Just how to prepare my mind. Um, even down to watching James train as well. I learned so much from James the girl as well. And um, not forgetting Jimmy Mack Jr. as well. He shows me a lot. And even Terry Stewart as well. He's in the gym with us all the time when I'm sparring and that. And, they will just put their little bit in and it just it just makes me a complete fighter to what I am today. We saw you out in action, as we said, last Saturday at York Hall. How many times do you plan on being active this year and have you got some goals for this year, some achievements that you want to you wanna accomplish? Um Yeah, um goals. I just I just wanna improve every fight. That's my goal really. But um this year, active wise, as active as I can be. Um, last year I wasn't too active. I had a few, a few minor injuries that I'm not going to go into. But um, I'm back. I'm fully healed and I'm ready um, for any time Frank says there's a fight or there's a show. Then hopefully um, he's going to put me on it. As we said, this this ground in Ellsfield, ABC have given you Sid Khan produced a lot of great fighters. Good South London sa uh, fan base from yourself. We saw quite a lot of your fans at your corn Saturday. Yeah, um, very good, um, very good fan base. Um, unfortunately, on Saturday, um, I was I was put on a bit earlier than we we expected, so a lot of my fans didn't get there to see my fight. But there's, they all turned up after, and um, they 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 just they just show so much support, and the positive energy I get from them is is just what pushes me, like to excel even further than I already am. I mean, you're three and zero now. Great chance for the Box Nation subscribers to get a good look at yourself and uh, introduce yourself properly to them via the Cassius and Elder Show. We really do appreciate that. No, yep. Um, thank you for um, interviewing me. And um, 
yeah, it's a great opportunity for both of us, I think. Thank you. Thanks so much.